Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and I am coming to you today after a while. We are actually in the process of working on something, which we'll be talking about shortly. But I wanted to answer a few questions that I received. Uh, where'd that question go? Okay, copy. This is from, uh, this first one's from Richard Gill. Uh, so... Uh, you have something in Illustrator that has a transparent, that's pretty much a little transparent image. But let's go ahead and make sure we save this. Yes, 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 save. Blah, blah, blah. Let me jump over here to Harmony Essentials. And for those of you who are wondering, well, why are you using Harmony Essentials? We'll talk about that in a second. So what I want to do so make sure I can import an Illustrator document in Harmony. So I'm going to go to my library and make sure I click on the Harmony Essentials library and click Write to Modify. So it's unlocked. So I'll do Import. Let's find our Illustrator piece. Let's so uh, Downloads. All right. And that should be coming in. Okay, enter the cat name, uh, or enter the new name, excuse me. Uh, I'm just going to leave this at its default. And so I can just simply click and drag this onto my timeline. You're wondering, where is that? Well, my playhead is not in the right spot, so. Okay, here's the fun part. Uh, following colors were not found. Do you want to perform a color recovery? Yes, you always want to click yes on this. So I'm going to click yes, and let's make sure we go to the right frame. And hey, dude, let's look at this. Uh, what happened to my shades? All right, well, let's fix this. Your transparencies aren't going to come over by default, but I'm going to come over here to my dropper tool, and I'm going to click directly on the shades, which are supposed to be transparent. So I'm going to go over here. Hey, there is a solid color there. I can double click here to edit this color. And matter of fact, it's calling it solid color, but I think I want to change the name of this and call it shades. And I'll come down here to alpha. Boom. And we'll just drop that down. Okay. And cool part is uh, I actually had a stroke around there that I kind of wanted solid anyway that I can leave alone. So that is how you can uh, edit your Illustrator pieces if they've got a transparent background or something like that. So with that being said, I wanted to let you guys know today we are announcing the pre-sale of our next Tomb Boom Harmony title and it's Mastering Lip Sync and Tomb Boom Harmony. And this does cover both Harmony 12 and 14, and it covers Essentials, Advanced, and Premium. So we'll be talking about uh, some of the new features in Harmony 14, like Sync Layers, Pose Copier, which is actually available in 12 and 14, and we'll be showing you how you can do some advanced things like a lip sync with head turns and moves, drawing substitutions, uh, importing and playing around with Illustrator images, and more in-depth stuff on using the deformers with the lip sync. And I almost forgot, I was showing you some of the best practices that I and some of my colleagues use when you're trying to record voices for a voiceover. Oh, and here's some good news. You can actually get this. It's going to be released on September 12th. It will be $99, but this week, which is August 22nd through the 28th, we're offering it for $50 off. So you can get it for $49. Now, that deal only goes till the, for this week and next week it'll be 79 and the week pretty much after September 5th, it will be its normal price of 99. So if you want to get a good price on that, um, go ahead and jump on that now and we'll be sending you out information as soon as more is available and we'll probably be having a webinar or two, but if you want to grab that $49 price, it's available this week. 
Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. <laughs>